Everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm the Rex 9 and today we're going Arrow. That's the show we're going over. <laughs> and the episode we're going over today is Season 1, Episode 14, The Odyssey. So this one was kind of short in terms of actual content to write down, because I didn't write down a whole lot, like half a page. But still a lot of interesting stuff does happen. So let's jump right into the synopsis of the story. And I just want this as a recap for people who are new to the channel or new to these type of videos, basically. I'm just gearing up and just covering all my bases so that we have a conformed opinion for season six in October. And these will probably roll out every, I'll probably do two a week, maybe three a week. I don't know. Anyway, um, I. So I hope y'all will enjoy this. So let's get started on The Odyssey from Arrow, Season 1, Episode 14. So we start off the scene with Mora getting interrogated by Arrow, which is Oliver. And she is terrified, but she shows a picture of her kids saying, like, these are my kids. Please don't let them be orphans. Please, They have so much happened to them. Please don't hurt me. And so he does lower his weapon, then she shoots him. So that happened. <laughs> and so he disappears. And this is all within like before the title sequence comes in. And then right after that, we catch a scene where Felicity's going to tour Mini Cooper, which I think is a product placement. And then um, he appears in the back seat of Felicity's car and he's bleeding. And basically reveals himself to her. It's like, at first, she didn't know who it was. And she was like, then it's like it's me, Oliver. It's just, uh, so much sense just happened right now. <laughs> so she puts all the pieces together, and yeah. So then uh, she takes him to see Diggle, and Diggle flips out and pulls a gun on her because like he's not used to it. will coming down, but she's like, "Excuse me, um, I need help. He's heavy." So they do surgery on him, and then we cut to a flashback where there's a training montage. And then they go over the plan on how to get the plane. And then um, as, they're, as they went over the plan and they're going to take over the um, airstrip, Oliver steps on a mine. And so <laughs> basically what happens is a bunch of people are looking for Oliver. So he just stands still and uh, Slade disappears. And so when... Um, they get near him, Slade comes out and kills everybody, like, super quick, like, six people, like, in under 30 seconds, what? And so, then he takes one of the dead bodies and just, like, pushes all right away, puts the dead body on it, so that way the weight transference didn't set off the landmine. And then, um, so he took care of that, then we have a little bit of a Slade backstory, so where, um... So basically the backstory is like he's with um, Australian intelligence and they're there to rescue Yao Fei. But when they got there, the plane got shot down and they recruited um, Billy Green, which is um, basically the other guy that did torture Oliver. And he was his godfather to his son, to Slade's son. And he uh, just switched sides just like that, no problem whatsoever. And then basically betrayed his best friend. So there's that. Then we get to the land strip and Slade takes out most of the people. And Alfred tries, but he can't, he fails. <laughs> and then um, Alfred goes into um, present day. He goes into cardiac arrest. Uh, they managed to save him by doing um, the EKG machine. You know, like, boop, clear. And <laughs> sorry. Oh, it is. So some people don't know what that is. Anyway, so they save him. Then we go back to the flashback where um, Ollie calls uh, Laurel from the tower, but then um, Slate comes back and r rips it out of his hands and disconnects the phone. And then they get the call from the plane, and the plane has a challenge code in it. And it's a quote from the Odyssey, which is the only book that Oliver's read in college. And he actually knew 
what to say back. So it worked. And then, um, and then um, Oliver decides he wants to rescue Yao Fei. And then we come back to the present where Felicity and Diggle bond for a little bit. They talk about stuff and uh, we go back to the flashback and Yao Fei knocks out Oliver and then Slay goes ham on everybody and Slay kills Billy but he gets shot by at a, he gets shot at by fires and then the ride disappears so the plane takes off it's already done its supplies so that's basically like three months and then we have um then we figure out why y'all say refuses to leave is because his daughter's shadow is there so this is her like official intro into the show and then um turns out ollie's um, then we go back to the present, and Oliver wakes up and he's fine. And Felicity upgraded their system. And then Oliver says to back off of back off on Mora. And then um, Oliver plays dumb. I guess about what happened. Uh, he plays dumb about what happened to Mora at the office. So like, what happened? Did you get rid of her? Did you find evidence and stuff? And Les is like, uh, it's been accidentally destroyed. <laughs> Which, um, that's what Felicity did. She, um, hacked into the database and had the samples, uh, destroyed. So, and that's the end of the episode. That kind of under eight minutes. That's a record for me. So, um, if you, I, I'll give this A+. Plus. It was really good, um, introduction to some other characters. And how to build a story, um, character development. So I really do like that a lot. So I give us an A plus. There was a there was a lot of stuff kind of happening, but not really. But it shows that um, Oliver's not as stupid as people think he is. So it shows that he actually has the smarts and actually knows how to do stuff, which um, progresses later on throughout the series. So so yeah. Great job, and I love the bonding notes between the characters, like Felicity and uh, Diggle and Oliver and Slay. They kind of did bond a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So that's it for me. So like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to hear or for me to do next. Just let me know. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody. <laughs>